Oh, that's a good one. A I see a bed. Without a fish. Am I recording? I am. Nope. But I imagine that's about. Just let it drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big thing about fishing is make sure you free fall. Ah. Did you just bust that up? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I caught it, it would have been too easy. Got it. So. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Just like that, yeah. Just fall straight down. Oh man, that was classic. You'd be a great person to take on a guide trip, though. Yeah. You know, oh, well. uh, you want this one? No. Tell me what you want. You got him. Look at you. All Look right. You. Man. Look at you. It's what? this tube. It is a tube. It's... Let, me, let me do your favor right there. There you go, bud. What'd you there do? You just time to drag this. Just a hair. Okay. You're good. Look at this. Look at that. Woo! I, I wouldn't get that excited. <laughs> I wouldn't get that excited. <laughs> oh, it's a tube. <laughs> Can I both live them? Uh, can I both live them on a couple pound line? That's you, that's you, not me. If he breaks off and busts your, bust your rod. Bust my rod? Just saying, that is a, that is a light rod. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is retarded. Jesus, where, 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 where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, this is funny. Oh my God. I'm enjoying this, go ahead. Yeah, well, as soon as I reach down, no, here, I'll here, goes, here goes Mr. Spotlock. Break, he said. Oh, you want to talk about a small mouth? Catch you a one pounder. <laughs> That's a tube fish. Woo! She works, baby. This is why you drive 24 hours straight. Yeah. That's it right there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that scenery. Tubature. There we go, man. That's what we picked up from the old bait shop down the street. That's a little ways down the street. We shall see ya, bud. Thank you. Look at that clear water. Craziness. Craziness. Bye bye. There we go. There you go. Yep, yep. Tighten her up a click. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Keep her tight now. Try and wear her out, because what happens is we've been getting these things up to the boat and then they get a second wind and you can't hardly grab a hold of them. Oh yeah, try and wear them out just a little bit more before I even attempt to grab them with this light line. You can't just be flipping them up here and these light rods. Oh, is he going in for it? Oh, is he gonna? Oh, wow. oh, just bang the boat up, bang up the new boat. Turk was going up for the assist, but he might give up here in a minute. We got a fighter. All righty there. Took a second, but we got him. We done got him on the old jig. Slick. Right off the dock too, man. This is cool. This is like fishing paradise right here. Here we go, man. Now we are starting to get on them. Let me tell you what, we were working out deep, but the increased chop. The wind is picking up a little bit. They're getting harder to see. So we came over here shallow where they're just a little bit easier to keep your eyes on them. We're gonna go ahead and let this one go, get some more for you guys. But check this out, man. This is why we come up here. Fishing for the smallies we don't normally get a chance to catch, man. What a blast. You just have a good old time down there. And uh, maybe we'll see you next visit. All right, man cast after that release. I'm trying to hit what looks to be a bed off the side of this dock here. Everything is submerged too, man. The water is on record highs out here. Crazy. Stop. Oh! That might have been my chance on that. Let's see what happens here. Got. Oh my. Two casts in a row? Well, we know he doesn't like the tube. Okay, okay, there we go. Third time's the charm, come on. We'll turn up the drag a little, just a hair. See what we're working with here. Come on now, stay pinned on me. Third try, all right. That is not bad. 
<sighs> Landing a smallmouth is the hardest thing ever we've learned over this trip. Oh gosh. There we go. <laughs> Tube domination, man. This thing, I tell you what, this is this thing is just wrecking house, man. Little tube, little different style of jig head on this thing. I'll have to show you guys that packaging again. And just that light line. This is eight pound on the tail end of six pound braid that we don't have enough of. That's why we're using this one on the beds. So they can't take us too far. Omen Green 13 fishing rod, man. Seven, what is this? Seven, seven, medium light. Able to chunk these light baits out there. In fact, this one's almost too heavy for it. I can barely feel these bites. It's more of a visual thing. I see him kind of swoosh around and I say, Ur! in fact, that one, I didn't even feel the bite. I saw him swimming off the bed and I figured I probably had him. So I just leaned into it. Exactly what happened. That's uh, that's called luck right there. These high winds are making it challenging, but we're getting it done. We'll see you, bud. Man, we got off the beds and now we're looking for a couple more over here by the cliffs. Wait till y'all see this. It is absolutely nuts. Kayakers cruising by just taking a glimpse of the sights. Lake Michigan is quite beautiful. Wow, me. This, is, this one could have some big ones on it right here. This one could have some biggins, ladies and gentlemen. We are leaving the caves and headed to another five mile hike. Well, last one was seven, but I'm gonna put the camera down now. Okay, look, if you've never taken a run with Lunkers TV, going 65 on the Great Lakes, and what some would consider optimal conditions, um, you probably have no fear in life. You probably have no fear. Me, on the other hand, I know this is a life vest, but you're also strapped in on a roller coaster. How safe do you feel? So, anyways, I guess we're gonna try and hit this spot halfway across the lake. Hopefully I can catch a fish. Yeah, I might just install my chesty onto my uh, life vest. I'm gonna start off with this tube because I see Rob starting off with the bottom bait. So I'm just gonna go off of what the pro's doing. And uh, yeah, apparently we're like very close to 75 feet of water. Why did I close the spool? <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie smoky, and just like that we are back to the ramp boys, we're headed in. I will catch you guys here in just a second. Ooh, a little toasty. First time ever backing up to a ramp uh, with another boat. Been it, so. Covers a little bit different than ours. We are back. So those boys went uh, fishing this morning on their own. I had a guide trip this morning for bass, and we're both back here. It's about. I don't know, 2.30, 3 o'clock. We're getting rigged up for salmon tomorrow morning. Um, I'm just rigging up some dipsies right now. We're gonna run probably, how many guys we got? Four, we're gonna run 12 lines tomorrow. Uh, you're allowed three lines a piece in Wisconsin. So three for me, three for Weston, three for Cam, and three for Rob. Uh, we're gonna run lead core, probably a little bit of copper, not a lot, still a little early. Uh, wire, and then downriggers. It is early for salmon. It's only July, or excuse me, June. Tomorrow will be the 19th of June, which is still early, but they are starting to show up earlier and earlier and earlier every single year. We are going to be fishing in the Door County Peninsula. Now, if you went farther south, down by Milwaukee, Sheboygan, uh, Port Washington, those areas, there's a lot more fish down there. And the reason for that is those fish come up here, or they start down there where the water's warmer, more bait. They start down there earlier, and then they start to migrate up towards our way, which is farther north of those areas uh, later in the year. So again, it's still early, but there are fish in the area, um, and there's fish biting, so that's awesome. Um, Again, salmon fishing tomorrow morning. King salmon and steelhead will be kind of on the menu. So we're gonna leave that right here and uh, we're gonna insert a catching a salmon right here. Rob and I are doubled right now. There's still more lines in the water. Anything? 
So yeah, back at Spence's place, man, and if I hadn't explained it really, we were gonna be camping pretty much this entire trip, but uh, <laughs> he's gracious enough to let us stay at the place. Tomorrow is gonna be very exciting. Probably some bigger fish than you have ever seen me connect with uh, are gonna be on the hook, man. What are you laughing at? Oh, you mean a five pounder? <laughs> I'm gonna leave all of his information down in the description for you to check out his services if you guys wanna use him for smallmouth salmon, all the goodies up here. On the Great Lakes, man, give him a shout. Here we go. Yeah. He caught two. Rob didn't count his first one. He didn't let him hold it. He took it off the hook, threw it right back. He said, you need a bigger one. <laughs> his first one. That was a, a pound or something. So if you guys are looking to book a guy to trip up here in Door County, you gotta hit this guy up. 60, huh? You can't break it? They break they it? Break oh, it. they do? Alright guys, there you have it. That is the salmon setup, man. We're getting on them things tomorrow bright and early. It is now 5.42 and we about to head out for dinner. I want to go to sleep by like 8 p.m. Yeah, pretty sure I went to sleep at midnight. I mean, I'm totally wasted. I got to finish up the edit that is going to be posted on YouTube today for you guys. Uh, I'm still trying to crank out one a day for y'all, but anyways, that's besides the point. We're going to get to dinner and uh, yeah, hopefully you get to bed kind of early. First time trying some cheese curds, man. This, so this is story worthy right here. Here we go, boys. Food arrives. Everybody gets quiet. Especially this one. You realize there's some big fish in this world, right? I eat something bigger than that for dinner myself. <laughs> this is probably about the end of this episode. <laughs>